this screencast I'm going to demonstrate the version control features that Monarch develop provides. I have here um, a simple solution which is composed by uh, a main application and, uh, and the library. So, uh, so there are two uh, solution with two projects. And uh, what I'm going to do is to publish this solution to a repository, a subversion repository, and then work uh, with it. So uh, to publish the, the solution, I have, to, I have to go to the version control menu in the context menu of, and uh, click on, on publish. And in this dialog, I can select uh, the server information. I would enter here the URL of the, of the server or I could uh, choose one of the existing uh, servers. I have uh, registered here. I could, uh, for example, if there is a server uh, I use very often, I could just mm, click on that and uh, add, uh, enter here the server information and, and it will be shown in this list. So I'm going to choose one of the uh, existing ones. And, okay, so the, the the solution has been published and uh, here in the solution tree you can see a new icon, a new overlay icon in, in the project uh, which means that uh, this project is, is now under version control. If I right click on the solution or in uh, on, on the project in the version control menu now shows more options. Uh, this is an update command which will uh, update, get the changes from the server the status commit for reviewing changes down in the local copy and then committing them and the commit command and the log for, for seeing the history of, of changes it's the same at, at project level and uh, for files I also have some operations like remove for removing the, the file from version control from the repository update and, and log for seeing the history as well um, now I'm going to do some a couple of changes in in a file just to see how how to commit them. So I'm going to add a couple of comments. So as you can see, when I save the file, a new icon appears here, uh, which means that uh, this file, those two files, are being uh, have have been modified. Uh, so they need to be committed to the server. Um, if I right click now on the on a file, there is uh, another operation which is a div. Um, if I click on it, I can see the changes done in that file, and there is also a revert for the original version. Now I'm going to to show how to see the changes. In the down in the project, if I go to the status uh, command, I click on the status command, it shows a new view uh, with uh, all the um, changes down in the in the server. In this case, I have modified two files, so I can see the files here and I can review the changes here all at once. Let's see everything, whatever. I could also mm, prepare a change if I need to. I could also enter a comment, a comment message for for this change. For example, a new comment. And what's interesting about those comment messages as I, I enter is that um, I'm entering is that um, they are stored in disk. So if now I, I close the the, the, con the status view or even if I close the solution and reopen it again um, all that information will be uh, restored so mm, it's going to be there that's a very flexible way of uh, working with changes because you can well, do changes uh, enter some comments do more changes and uh, tomorrow do the commit when you're ready so it's very easy to to use I would enter now here another comment When I'm ready, I can just click on commit and uh, this confirmation dialog shows me the files ha that uh, are going to be committed and uh, the comment for the, um, the commit. In this case, it shows the two files that has have been modified. 
this um, in this uh, area here you can see a message from the change lock add-in which integrates with version control and uh, it, it is telling me that it's going to update um, a change log uh, file if I click on details I can see the file that is going to be modified well in this case uh, since there is no change log uh, file yet so it's going to create a, a new and that's the entry that is going to add to the to the change log um, the, the decision about uh, where to create the change log and um, which change log file to update is it's bound to a policy which is uh, assigned to the to the project and it can be changed I will show it in a, in a minute so I'm going to commit this change so the status view is updated and as well the the icons if I now go to the version control and see the log for this file I can see mm, the new change done in the history I can also view the changes done in this specific uh, revision so I can see the changes done in that case so in the, in the project options um, there is a change log integration section where I can set the policy to follow for this project for updating change logs in this case what's set is uh, use the prime solution policy so let's go to the prime solution and well uh, what's set is um, use a single change log uh, per project so it will create or update the change log file which is in the the root directory of the project other options are well just disable change log support update uh, the, the closest change log in the directory hierarchy and uh, create uh, one change, change log per, per directory so we're using to use we're going to use just one one change log per directory for this example i'm going to do some more changes to see another example of uh, committing changes so now i have a uh, several modifications from seven different files of different projects I can go to to the solution and do the same status commit uh, operation and in this case it will show me all, all the, the changes in all the projects um, I could do this status uh, operation run this status in any level I mean at uh, level solution level project level or even if I have folders in my project I do, could do the same in, in folders so here I can see all the changes done I can enter comments I comments uh, to several files at once for example if I select three files I could um, enter uh, a message for all, all of them and another one So if I click on, on commit, this um, shows well the, the consolidated uh, I mean message. As you can see, it is grouping the all the files with uh, the same message, and uh, it is telling me that it's going to update two change log files. That's because there are two projects, so I can see the the change log files being being updated. That's the first one. That's um, alre it already exists, so it's the new entry. I can change it if uh, if I want, and that's the the first one I entered. And that's the new new change log file that is going to be created because there wasn't one here. So I can commit. Another interesting feature of uh, version control integration is that um, uh, all the file operations I can do in in the solution tree are are. Um, internally handled by the version control system so for example if I drag and drop a class a file from one project to another project this is shown as a, a version control operation I can see here uh, all the changes all the changes that uh, this um, move operation involve uh, which are um, removing uh, moving the, the the file from one project to the other project and um, changing the, the the project files 
so for example in the new project it is added in the project file and in the previous project is removed from the project file so I can commit this change and everything is properly updated the last thing I, I wanted to show is um, how to uh, out a project from an existing project from a repository to do this, um, I'm, I'm going to close this solution and I'm going to check out the, the same solution from the repository in, in a different directory. So in the menu I, menu, I can click on check out and go to the repository. And here it is the, the project I committed. And I can check out it to some other beer. And that's done. It's, uh, it has um, downloaded all the source code, and uh, it has uh, since it has found a, a solution in that directory, uh, it has opened the, the the solution. As you can see, it, it is under version control. As you can see in the icons. Thank you for watching.